The sense of smell is quite unique because it talks very directly to the parts of the brain that are uh, responsible for processing memory and emotions, even more so than other senses like our you know, vision and hearing. We know that from everyday experience how strong smells are triggers for, for kind of memories that can go as far back as our childhood. The sense of smell is actually very important in many subtle ways to our uh, functioning, and it's got uh, importance around areas like food or avoiding things related to food. It's got very critical roles in kind of social and emotional behavior, even around sort of partner selection and, and things like that. It's got importance around hazard or danger signaling, things that may elicit disgust or uh, fear. Mind Your Nose study is a study we started uh, not too long ago in collaboration with researchers from South Australia and also from Sweden. We're interested in finding out whether training people's memory through the sense of smell helps people get better not only in their ability to remember smells, but also in their memory more broadly. And this is related to a bigger issue that we're very interested in, and that is the prevention of dementia, or at least reducing the risk of dementia, because what we know is that dementia obviously is one of the biggest challenges of our times. And I've done some studies, uh, as well as others, that shown that years before people develop dementia, their sense of smell is already reduced. And in fact, if you look at people with Alzheimer's disease, probably about 90% of them or, or more have loss of their sense of smell, either complete or significant. So I had people with dementia smelling gas, and I made sure that in the options they could choose from, there was a gas, but there was also uh, smoke, uh, leather, and strawberry. Most healthy people wouldn't smell gas and go, hmm, this is strawberry, right? People with dementia were just as likely to say strawberry as they were to say the other options. If a person loses their sense of smell and they're unable to identify and recognize smells that uh, should signal danger, like smoke or gas or food that's gone off, they are potentially at higher risk of, of something happening to them because of that. And it has important implications for people with dementia who live still by themselves, but they may not be able to um, identify risks based on their smell. What we're hoping to find is that the sense of smell is that window that allows us to train memory in such a way that is more likely to lead to improvements across other situations that involve memory, not just training our sense of smell. We want to use the sense of smell, we want to get better at remembering smells, but the real goal is to become better at memory in general.